Hi everyone. I'm making this video so that uh, if any of you were interested in removing the balance shaft um, from your 2AZFE, this is the process and this is how I've done it. Uh, first of all, the shaft, uh, the crankshaft has a gear on it. It's a ring gear. And to remove that ring gear, uh, you need to uh, heat it up to about 500 degrees. That's what I did. And with a brass hammer, you ever so carefully tap it and it'll, it'll pop off. But you got to tap it in, you know, in a circular motion so that it pops off evenly. Uh, once it's off, then you can take it to the machine shop, have them uh, resurface the crank if need be, and they'll um, make sure there's no crazy uh, balance issues, and then they will correct that if, if at any case there is. Um, here's what it looks like. I'm doing this because I had a crank case, crank case issue and it was leaking, so I figured I'd show you guys how. This has already been done, but right here is where the gear would go, okay? And you can see there's a lip here, so you heat this up really hot, and you take a hammer and tap it over here, over here, over here, all the way around, of course, with out of the engine, and it'll pop right off, okay? Once that's off, like I said, you have it balanced and you'll be good to go, okay? But that's not it. Then you come to the crankcase and this is the crankcase. And underneath this housing is where the gears normally sit. Well, mine, I've already removed mine so I don't have the gears, but we take the cover off and you can see shaft one, shaft two, there's two gears that sit here with counterweights and it spins and it keeps it all in balance and keeps it smooth. However, there's a bearing housing here, 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 and here. These housings, they all need oil. So to get their oil, it comes from this hole right here. Now, what I've done in the past is I've taken a tap and I've tapped this hole. Okay, now this hole I've already tapped, so that's why it's going in very easily. But you just tap it, okay? Some some folks can weld it if they want to. I don't have a welder in hand, or I probably would have done that. Um, I've heard JB Weld. I don't know if I would trust that, but I've heard that you can use that. Um, so basically, what you do is you get yourself a plug... This is what I use. It's just an Allen head. It's a little plug. And now you just screw this guy in here. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little sealant, put a little sealant in there. And what I'm gonna use for sealant, is the same as what I use for the crankcase is the Toyota Sealant Pack 103. And I'm gonna put a little bit in there along with some red Loctite. And that's it. Screw it in tight and leave it alone. That will stop the oil from coming up and keeping your oil pressure where it should be. If you don't do this, I was told, I have never tried it, but I've, I was told that if you don't do this, all the oil is gonna come out and not without the bearings and, and whatnot are just going to slop and build up and you're going to have built up oil everywhere and your pressure is going to go down. So you need to stop it from coming up. And this is the way, this is the way that I've done it. And it works. On my other crankcase that is damaged, I'll, I'll show you. Let's move this guy. Let's put this guy down. All right, excuse the mess in the garage here. All right, so on this one, remove this. You can see also, there's, there it is. You see the Allen head? It's already been clogged and 
and it's not it, nothing ever leaks out of it you just unscrew it and boom you're good to go however you got to heat it up if you for some reason wanted to unscrew that but i'm i'm doing this all this work because right here this hole and you ask how come there's a hole in my crankcase I know a lot of you are wondering this. You're wondering, well, how does one get a hole that size in a crankcase? Well, I took it to the machine shop years ago and I told them I was gonna put a turbo on here and I needed a return line from the turbo. Can you please weld a return line onto my oil pan? They said, sure, no problem. They did not weld it onto the oil pan. I did that. They welded it right here. And it was sticking out to right about here. It was it was pretty bad. And guess what? My exhaust comes down directly over this area. So there's no way I could have used this area in the first place to run an oil return. So all I did was put a, a plug in there and went about my day. However, this was touching ever so closely to the exhaust pipe, the down pipe, and every once in a while, I guess it would hit it, and when they towed my car, not too long ago, I think they smacked the bottom of the exhaust and it cracked it all the way. So I was getting a ton of oil dripping straight out of here. It was horrible. Hence the reason I had to pull the motor and fix this. So I'm swapping the crankcase right now to get this done. But I just wanted to show you guys that that's what you have to do to stop the oil pressure. And that's what I, I'm going to do right now. So till then, take care. I hope this helps. Bye-bye.